R&D is a company dedicated to manufacturing and marketing skincare products and fragrances. In terms of numbers, we have 600 employees. We generate close to 90 million euros in revenue each year and ship between 70 to 75 million units of cosmetics and fragrances. At R&B, we have four key pillars. Our company is founded on the pillars of people and professionals, image and design, excellence in technology, and care for the environment. Cobots are used mainly because they offer a great fit with people and professionals. We assign them to a task, so staff won't have to perform many repetitive movements, especially at end-of-the-line areas or in areas that involve unfavorable ergonomic movements. We're in the packaging and preparation area of RNB Cosmetics, where we currently have six collaborative center pack palletizing cell teams working. With the old robots we had before, we needed experts to handle them. After practically a week with the new cobot of Universal Robots, we have regular people from the plant, people who used to move materials, and they've been working with the cobot from the outset. At R&B, we have opted for collaborative robotics, firstly, because our plant is small, and secondly, given it is a smaller space, we need the robot to work directly with the operator. We sought something that would mean the operator no longer has to be continually handling packages that weigh 7 kilograms, which causes a significant number of problems. When I found out they were going to introduce a collaborative robot to my line, I was a little fearful, as I thought maybe I would no longer be needed. In reality, as time has gone on, I've realized that's not the case. In fact, it's the complete opposite. My job post has improved greatly, especially in terms of the physical side, as I no longer have to exert myself as much. In addition to ergonomics, the safety of our employees is another important factor for RNB. These robots sense when they encounter unexpected obstacles in their route and automatically stop. Based on this, our risk analysis concluded that no safety guarding other than the built-in safety system in the robot, is required in the cell. With the old robots we had, there were many safety issues. They required clearly safely guarded areas. People entering the area to gain access to the robot had to be much more experienced in terms of safety and the production process, and the robots had to be stopped before people could enter their work envelope. These robots are highly sensitive, and they immediately realize when there's something in their work zone they will stop at the slightest contact. We all feel really safe with them. Another advantage of Universal Robots Cobots is that they can be easily reprogrammed. For example, when a change from one task to another is required, or when we wish to implement a new program. This only takes a minute as you simply touch the screen, select a new program, and that's it. Everything is explained on its screen. Stop, start, it's a really simple interface, and we are all capable of using the robot, which means we can collaborate with it. The most important aspect is that you can really see your operators integrated with the robots and managing them. We don't hire top experts to manage a state-of-the-art cobot. Instead, the people who were working on the production lines before can continue to do their job and they are now the ones managing these cobots. We're taking our people and training them to make them experts in this area, or at least to improve their competence level. We thought the robot was going to end up doing everything, but it's been quite the opposite. More people have joined us, and I've been given a permanent contract. There's definitely more work, but that's because we're more effective. The robot is one of us. It's another worker on the line. We've even given it a Absolutely. name. On our line, it's yet another colleague.